Welcome to the first episode of FPS Plays Sunset Riders. We got Kyle here. We're gonna, Kyle's going to be playing the whole time, and me and James are going to be switching off every other level. Mainly because we don't know how to play that well. <laughs> it's basically going to be Kyle carrying us through the whole game. And, yeah. Hopefully we're going to try to not use up all the continues like we did the first time we tried playing this. Yeah. And this time, well, this time, you didn't see last time, we are going to both pick the characters with the shotguns. Because they're OP as fuck. Because they're OP. <laughs> Let's see, B is slide, A is jump, X is shoot. All right, cool. Should be the same controls as you guys had last time. So you're going to explain what this game is? Yeah, um, this is a, a classic side-scrolling shooter uh, by Konami, Mastery of All Things. Uh, you got to hit up and and jump to, sc to scale. There you go. And then just run in there. I got your back. Um, so pretty much, you just it's just a run and gun. Um, you're just going to go through, kill everything. Uh, that's the objective. Just pick up some power-ups, you know. Um, and uh, it's pretty pretty simple. Um, it's kind of like old west theme, which is kind of like our thing. I li I really like it. Our thing? No, like me and me and Matt really oh, okay. like like the old west stuff. So oh, okay. we we get into this pretty hard. Um, but yeah, no, I played this game like all the time when I was little. It's like it's just a bitch to beat, really, like in one sitting. Um, just because, like, it's better to have two players, honestly, because uh, you just get that extra firepower, you know. But I pretty, I pretty much uh, become an expert at it. I just realized your character has dual, like, sawn off shotguns. You're not even, or Matt's character does. Speaking of which, um, who's who? Oh, I'm Cormano, the Mexican dude. He's uh, pink Bob. one. I'm yeah. the gay boy. Yeah, he's Bob with the long flowing mane. <laughs> Look at my like cheesing ass face. Like <laughs> running animations are ridiculous. Better than Home Alone. <laughs> yeah, it's not just a crappy little walk cycle like Home Alone. Except this is pretty much just two different frames. Alright, so this is the uh, this is the first boss. This is a uh, Simon Greedwell. He's pretty easy. He's got some goons on the left and right. Watch the barrels in the middle, because once they start blinking red, that means they're about to fall, and they will fall. And you just point straight up. And the voice acting in this game is glorious. It is. All right, watch these bullets coming out. I just realized this this boss in particular is almost exactly like the last boss. The last one's just he really is. It's just wait, yeah. Spoilers. Spoilers All right, for uh, a game that has focus like the boss. five levels. And just watch this. There you go. Yeah, this is like if you if you played the last boss, then this is just fucking walking park. How many levels are there in total? There you go. There's like eight or something. Eight levels. Um There's like seven. But yeah. It's a. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna run and gun through this shit, then it's it's a pretty it's a pretty straight shot. I feel like all the games we play with you here are just gonna be short as shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just so happens that these are like some of my favorite games, so yeah. I played like the shit out of them. The only thing that's gonna be long is like Mario Party. All right, this level is a fucking bitch. Um, Remember, watch the wagon because it's going to drop logs. And if you kill the guy in the wagon, then the log just drops, period. Bang. Like, uh, yeah, just watch the wagon. I got everything coming around. It's because... Yeah, stay back from that bullet. The wagon's going to go down. See, this is way easier with two people. So I'm used to playing this with just one person. How did that not give people seizures back then? Uh, they probably did. <laughs> they probably just didn't care. <laughs> probably like, oh, he's sick. It's oh, okay, he's just that. possessed. Jumped. Is there any power ups in this level? Um, no. Damn it. Really? Yeah, really. Even though shotgun unpowered is better than, better than pistol powered up. Yeah. 
It's alright, I got this shit. Look at this shit. Fucking automatic shotguns. Automatic shotguns with bottomless clips. Look at how fast that's getting off. That's like <laughs> that's like 60 rounds a second, dude. Train cars. This, this whole part's pretty easy. The the hard part actually is is just the wagons when it's just you because you have to watch the people coming in and you have to jump the and you have to watch the guy in the wagon and you have to jump the log by yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then this this is my little trick for this part. Always be a shotgun guy, by the way. That's the trick to the game. Uh, but this trick for this part is just sit back here and just get off in the corner. I always get off in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't see anyone else for the rest of the train. Pretty sick. I like how my horse has green hair. <laughs> I like that my horse is pink. <laughs> All right, so that's the train, and then Hawkeye Hank Hatfield comes out, uh, spitting some more classic lines, and he's pretty easy to do. I used to think he was hard as shit. This music's intense. Suddenly the train is like nowhere near as long as it was before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, you might have to do some sliding in, in this part, but pretty much I'm just gonna yeah just mark everybody. Actually, if you just hold off on focusing, uh, Hank, if you just go for the goons, they stop uh, spawning after you kill a certain amount of them. All right, I'll grab the heads. Yeah. Oh God. James, you want to comment? <laughs> I don't have much to say. I did actually see um, uh, Speed Demo's archive actually ran this game for their uh, their speedrun marathon. So I right, actually saw most of this game through that. Dude, that was nice. I like tanked him, like baited him, <laughs> and while you got him, shot him in his ass. I said, I wonder who's gonna get the. Probably you, yeah. as always, because you had the. No, you okay. got it last time. But I thought you were player one. It's another one of those games where you get a sort of winner at the end of every level. Yeah. Well, it's only for the boss, though. I guess. And then here's the bonus stage, of course. Um, oh, the quick draw. Yeah. What was shoot? A or yeah, X? A, a or X? X. I forgot. Bonus stage matter at all, or it's just for points? Yeah, it's just for lives and points. Cause once you get a certain amount of like money, you get like, lives. I'm just gonna shoot wildly. I feel like that's a better strategy than anything else. It's gonna get me at least and kill. And kill? <laughs> You're so unliterate. <laughs> I'm pretty sure on the, the, the dude that was running it for Speed Demos Archive got like either a perfect score on these or like 49 out of 50. Yeah, I get four, every time I get 48 whenever I do it. Huh, we got 50. Yeah, Gerald. Yay, my strategy helped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got an kill. What I do is when I play alone, I just look straight down, like, straight down those, like, porches. Right. Like, just, like, tunnel my vision. And for some reason, it helps me see, like, all the other ones around. It's weird. It's, it's counterintuitive, but it works. That's how I get, like, near perfect score. 